Hi there, welcome or welcome back to my channel, The Sweary Sewist. I'm Nicole, aka The Sweary Sewist. Um, feeling a bit flat this week, so um, bear with me. Hopefully it's not boring. Um, earlier in the week I attended the funeral of my friend's husband, so I'm still thinking of my beautiful friend Alice and everything she's going through. A um, bit of sewing to do today, so we've got the first market for the year in two weeks and I'm away next weekend so I've I've got a lot to do and a lot of time to do it um, so there'll be a bit of sewing I've got uh, some parcels to open one is half open but I left the good stuff inside so <laughs> I'll show you that uh, show you something I made last weekend I did also promise uh, that the next video would be a car video I do have the content but I'm, I'm battling a pretty um, high level of fatigue at the moment so I pretty much come home from my day job and struggle to stay awake so I haven't edited that but it is it's still coming um some of it's pretty cool I probably didn't get as much as I wanted to had some issues with the camera but it's coming um what else today so bit of embroidery bit of sewing bit of opening mail um we'll see how we go see what we cook up um uh, the other thing I need to do for the markets in two weeks is um, make a backdrop. It's an indoor market and it's in what is best described as a chook shed. It's the uh, poultry pavilion at the at the local show. So it's not the prettiest of buildings and um, I'm very lucky to have an indoor stall so I'm thankful for that. But I did buy this screen off Timu to use as a backdrop behind me to cover the shelves that they usually have chooks on and it it doesn't work for me it's like it looks okay but it's um it's a bit of a pain in the ass to put together it rattles around in the car and um it's generally just a nuisance so I've bought a camera backdrop stand I actually a photography backdrop backdrop stand rather I bought it from um Kogan and think I paid about 48 bucks for it so I'm pretty happy with that as a better solution because it all folds up so I will put that up and the backdrop the fabric is just poplin in my kind of signature purple color so not exciting by any stretch but um, it'll be good to get that done before the next market I am away again next weekend I think I already mentioned that um so yeah time crunch and Finding the energy to sew in the evenings is a bit of a problem at the moment. So um, stick around, see some stuff. Hope you're having a good day. It is it is Saturday. It's going to be fecking hot here. Today, not too bad, 32 degrees, but tomorrow, 36. So uh, if I film it all tomorrow, I'll be sweating buckets. <laughs> Let's see what that's like for you. Thank you. 
Okay, so I did promise some mail opening, but first I just wanted to show you this. Um, I made this, I don't know, last, I don't know, anyway, doesn't matter. Um, this is the Emmeline Retreat Bag. Um, I bought the hardware for this last Easter, I think, and I kind of put off making it because I thought it was probably a bit tricky. Um, I should have just bitten the bullet and done it because it was dead easy to make so it's got um frames here to give it rigidity so it stands open by itself i've made it for my camera bits and bobs um so i can take it away with me or i can just have it stored here keeps the dust off everything and keeps it all in one place now there's a i do have two cameras that i use the the samsung galaxy smart camera it's years old but it has the best image so I persist with its little personality issues just because it's got it's just takes such great pictures and video um, and a little Canon vlogging camera so in my Timu parcel is something linked to this and a little project for the Cricut later on so I'll show you that but if you're a sewer and you're into bag making um, the Emmeline retreat bag I will post something somewhere so that you can um, find a pattern for it. I'm pretty sure it's actually a free pattern. The hardware, I think these frames, this is the smaller one, I think the frames were about $9.50 and I bought them from the little fabric shop, the name escapes me now, but it's in Narendra in New South Wales So and lots of other places have them too. So that's that, so that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Okay, the Timu order. Excuse the rustling. So um, I have opened this because there was something in it for my partner and you know his was bulky so that was the perfect opportunity to sneak some stuff in for myself without him going what's all that stuff from Timmy? So I've taken his stuff out. Let's see what else there was. Actually I'll move it over here so you're not... So you saw I got a stripy market bag in a previous vlog. I got another one, actually the perfect size for holding some of my display stands. Um, and I went through my market stuff again to try and get a bit more organized. And I can't remember what it was, but there was something else I thought would fit perfectly into that. So I bought another one. And I also got these two. For the same reasons, use the rustling. I try not to do that because I don't love it in other people's videos. These are actually um, just reusable shopping bags, but again, they're the, I think I bought one for my tablecloths, um, and there was something else I measured that would fit perfectly inside that. So, just a bag, nothing exciting. And there's two of those. Then there was, this is not exactly the colour that I was hoping for, but I was just looking for something um, to go really in the car. Um, we do quite a few car trips and, you know, you've always got your little bits and bobs. And to be honest, the floor of our car is not always the cleanest. So I just wanted something a bit robust to just put my you know bags of snakes and essential stuff in so it's it's a little bit more um i don't know i think it was a lighter pink that i was expecting but it's okay it's perfect it's exactly the right size uh hopefully it doesn't look like a laptop bag if i leave it in the car it is water resistant they say waterproof nothing's waterproof i don't need solid plastic is waterproof it's got a couple of little zippy pockets it's got a zip pocket in there it's got a pocket there and it's got the end pocket so yep perfect for a bowl of water and lollies and then the other thing that's in here is actually linked to that camera bag so as i said i use two cameras i want to put I just wanted a little bag for each of those cameras. 
sorry had to edit out a coughing fit there as I say not feeling great this week maybe I'm actually sick but anyway um, I don't know where I was with this but I just wanted something to put the cameras in within that bag just give them a bit of extra protection but later on today they're the perfect size exactly what I needed later on today I'm gonna do a little Cricut project which I'll show you um, they need a little press I'm just gonna put something on them so I can distinguish between the two cameras um, so that's the Timu stuff okay this I bought off a lady on Facebook I um, she's a fabric seller I don't stash fabric I um I don't have the space to stash fabric and I've been in my life I've found myself in the unfortunate situation where I had to clear out my sewing room in a very very short period of time and everything went in a skip the fabric the furniture my um, dressmaking mannequins including a child size one which I so regret throwing away at the whole box and dice so the only thing that was kept was my machines and this cutting table um, so it was heartbreaking to throw years of fabric collecting in a skip so I just don't do it anymore I buy it to use it that said there are some things that I'm a sucker for and what's this fabric while it's some of it is actually just scraps because it's left over from one of our own projects I think the prints on this are right up my alley so <laughs> I thought why not it wasn't expensive it's not terribly nicely packaged but anyway so it's this little pansy kind of country garden print I can um, I can you know make some I'll make a quilt of some sort probably just a lap quilt and it will probably live in here so quite a few pieces of that I'll also um, I can incorporate some machine embroidery into this so there's a few things to pick up like the bird houses the pansies that's really pretty that piece uh, what else is in here oh there's another the colors are beautiful they're, they're just what I like so happy with that this one says dream pretty flower cherish inspire This one says the same. Oh, it's got hope in there too. Just a different colorway and another colorway. So all up, you know, this, there's actually a decent amount of fabric here. By the time you incorporate some planes into it, this one, and then this scrunched up piece, which has got a, oh no, two little pieces. And a bigger piece so you can definitely make something with that especially if I um, put some machine embroidery on it so that's the mail opening um, time to move on to doing something productive <clears throat> okay so before I actually move on to the sewing I just have to tell you I just went inside into my laundry to put those market bags with my market stuff the last time I was in my laundry like 10 minutes ago there was a huge huntsman spider on the floor probably the biggest one I've ever seen in this house we get a few probably the biggest one don't really know what he was doing on the floor because that's a bit irregular they're usually up high but now he's missing <laughs> so, I don't like that I can coexist with spiders as long as I know where they are so um, yep not happy about that okay so next up is this thing I want to do on the cricket I've had some trouble with my cricket lately um, getting it to connect by Bluetooth to my laptop but I've done some googling 
and found a few suggested um, fixes so I'm going to have a go see if I can reconnect it I do have a cable I'm just too lazy to keep moving stuff to do that so give me a second okay I gave up it still won't connect so it's back to the cable as I say it works but I just can't be bothered doing it I don't know, um, people who have a Cricut, you'll understand, seems like every time you load up design space, it's got to do an update, and again, I swear, it's every time. not a massive user of my Cricut um, it's just something I love having though okay so you can See now what I've done, probably gives it away a little bit, what I'm up to. Um, just got stabbed in the finger by my weeding tool, so I have to edit out some serious swearing. I'm just using my little um, Cricut Easy Press for this, because it's a really tiny little job. I need to make sure I do them the same way, this way. I'm just going to try and press that little crease out of there. A little bit. Easy peasy. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. As I say, it's just for me, I don't care. It's just so that I don't have to I mean the cameras have a different weight, so it's kind of obvious, but that's not the way I operate. I have to have everything labeled and organized. So, right or wrong, I know everyone's going to have their own opinion on this. This is how I press my heat press vinyl. I put my um, just Raja cloth over it. Is those done simples I'm glad I had that color purple because that actually goes really nicely um I'll put the cameras in moving on to the next project okay so good news is I've located the spider <laughs> bad news is he's huge um let's I'll insert a picture somewhere but let's just say I won't be doing any ironing in the foreseeable future. But I'm okay with that. So I have moved on to market stuff now. Um, more emergency poop packs. So I'm also going to have these um, things sold through a local store at the Canberra show so I need uh, quite a supply because there's a market on the 18th the Canberra show on the 24th 25th and a market on the 25th so that's um that's quite a lot so I have improved my production line here by buying a second hoop so 
that's pretty cool. It means I can hoop one while the other one is embroidering. So I have got another one hooped here, but I just don't want to start the machine just at the moment. It is about as hot as predicted. The temperature in here right now is 28 degrees. So that's delightful. Anyway, it's summer. Can't complain. We had a couple of years of no summer. So definitely not complaining. Just my hooping process. These are an original design, by the way. Have my uh, my prototype sitting next door, and it's um, yeah, born out of necessity. First one was pretty simple, no embroidery, just a couple of layers of fabric, and then the idea grew from there. Sorry if you can hear the fan whirring away in the background. Not much choice at the moment. We actually have to go inside soon. Still not feeling great. I, I don't know. I've had a birthday this week. Sometimes uh, that triggers a bit of... Um, Maybe sadness. Always really miss my mum on my birthday. I lost her when uh, she was 57, so I was only 32. And my kids were seven and four, so yeah, that's yeah, not enough time. So if you've still got your mum, cherish her. Tell her that you love her, and take time to be with her. She's important. You'll miss her when she's gone. just have to add in here that this time I got stabbed by a pin so yet again I'm going to have to edit out some even more colorful language it is not my day um yeah maybe I should go watch a movie anyway more tomorrow righto so it's now Sunday it's hot as predicted um, 
the I mentioned earlier in the vlog the spider that was hanging around in the laundry that had gone into hiding the situation has escalated I'm going to insert another photo that no that's a no from me it is facing the toilet this morning I know I said yesterday that I could coexist with spiders if I can see them nope this morning when I got up to go to the bathroom I had to sit sideways on the toilet so I had a fast exit option so something's going to have to be done about that <laughs> I'll spread it to the magpies um, I've just been to excuse my scruffy hair because I've just been out watching um, cars do hill climb so that was fun didn't video it uh, it's not that exciting to watch on video I don't think um, so I did a quick run to Spotty's not too exciting picked up a bunch of cord pullers that I need for my poo packs uh, some more donut fabric love the donut fabric it's very hard to find a color to embroider on it but I have a purple that works and just a couple of fat quarters so I, I really like this one just drop it right well. um, you can see the little paw prints on it I thought that'd be cute for key fobs and a bit of a tie-dye batiki jobby for some car coasters I think um that's my phone going off so today I did some more poop back embroidery yesterday I'll put that in um today I'm just going to do what I can before it gets really disgustingly hot um and I have to go inside probably won't video the making of the um car coasters because I've already showed you that so I will just show you what I achieve at the end of the day if that's anything I have almost finished editing the um, hot rods weekend video that I mentioned earlier is a lot of editing because there's a lot of individual clips because um, there's so much like nothing time what I have discovered is that the Canon vlogging camera that I bought is really shit for action videography so I'm gonna look at other options for that so I'm pretty disappointed with the video but I'll put it up because I did get some still shots of a lot of the cars and they're pretty cool to look at anyway so um, but yeah definitely gonna be looking for something else for like the cruising and other things um, let's get some stuff done I'll check in later Okay, that is it for this vlog um hope you've seen something of interest to you um uh, wasn't that exciting really but anyway it's now um 30 plus degrees in the studio no idea what the temperature is out so i'm going to call a day and um go in and have a shower and cool off and cook some dinner um i did forget to show you the car coasters before i packed them away with my market stuff but i did get a photo so i'll insert the photo somewhere here um Next weekend, I'm in Queensland, Stanthorpe, so I'll, um, I might take some footage while I'm there, see how we go, weather's uh, not forecast to be that great, so I hope everybody has a great week, I uh, hope you're all well, and um, thanks again for watching, if you made it all the way to the end, um, 
like and subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, look after yourselves, look after each other, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.